Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you in a real time example of inner join. As we till now, we have learned what is join. The join, which is the purpose, will have to join two or more tables to get the data as our requirement and reading the table data from the table in a certain SQL statement by using the respective join. Whether it may be join, it's an inner, like a left join, outer join, or right join, based on our requirement specified. A table data which is having complete left table or right table or both or matching rows. Based on this scenario, we have to take an appropriate decision. Likewise, one by one, we will see it's a very simple to join multiple tables. I can I'm told you once these sessions are completed we will be a very much familiar to write and understand a joins very easily the simple application a real time program I'll show you how to write an SQL statement by using two tables we'll see how to join the two tables with using the inner join and how to select the columns as we required from these two tables with using a statement all right now see here i have in a table here it's in a select start from customers strongly remember that whenever we are going to joining two or more tables the two tables is having is in a common column that common key identity that what is identity is here means Select star from customers. It's in a customer table. I'm seeing here. The customer table is having customer ID. You strongly remember here. I'm mentioning here it's in customer underscore ID. It's in a column which is available in customer ID, customers table. And one more table I'm going to attaching here. That is orders. The table orders. We will see there. The customer ID, if it is there, it can be possible to join with this table. Select a query and run the query. Yeah, it's not table name is yes is missing here. Yes, orders. Now select the query and run. Yeah, we are able to get the output order ID and customer ID. Here it is matching the customer ID. In the customers table, we have a customer ID column. Whereas in orders also we have in a customer ID column here. You will see here. Observe the table here. From the order table. And now it is possible to join these two tables. We'll see how to use by using this common column parameter and the value how it is. Now simply you will see I construct in a statement of SQL statement using in a join. Now simply I can say that select start from customers. Customers as I am taking as in a C here. In a join. In a join with which table orders. Simply you try to write orders here. And orders table I am taking in a alias name. Yeah, we will I'll write you all the keywords of uh, relevant to this. Is in a capital here. It's very convenient to understand. From the core program, select also making is in a cap. Now see, I'll replace the start. Then why absent? Now customers as in a table have a seen. I have taken as alias name is C and in a join using I'm using this uh, statement as an in a join and orders as who oh, i'm taking here now it's a giant statement is over and here now on where which key are matching from which table we have to specify clearly now see from customers table i'm taking as in a c as in a customer table c dot which column we have chosen cst mer customer id customer id that equal to operator which is equivalent to 
order id like the order table that is o dot est customer underscore id all right i am taking as an enter convenient of our lines now see here by using an inner join here first table is customer as c i have declared as a alias name and in the join with orders table second table as an alias name i have taken as an o on where i am matching these two tables here you will see c dot customer id from the customer table and o dot customer id from orders table all right now we will see here once we will execute this statement what we will get here yes we got it from the customer like a uh, customer's data we will get from the customer table along with the customer we'll get an uh, order details see from here it is an uh, order table complete columns from the two tables where the rows are matched on each and every table both tables which need to match on every row the matched rows will get at an output in using in a join there is a no duplicates and a no not matched values will not come as an output instead of seeing this all columns what i will do is here i am specifying some columns from some table like from customer table i will choose two columns and order tables i choose two columns how it can be possible it's a very simple technique now what we will see here it's now what i will to take here is now customer id and contact name i'll take from the customer table whereas similarly i'll take from orders is in order id and uh, customer id i'll take from the order table. then we can easily which uh, table column which column the data which is matching or not we can simply identify here see to remove the star here and simply you put it as in a column name as you know them like uh, from customers i am writing customer id comma contact name these two columns from customers table similarly comma based as you know that basic of uh, selection of the columns using we'll use for comma based from order table that is an order underscore id comma customer customer underscore id from the order table now what we need to put here how the select will like uh, this is the customer id is here and this is the customer id is here how select will understand which column is which from which table this will arises a question while executing the query so it will ask you to specify from which table which column as simply as we define in a statement as a c just put it as in a customer if it is in a customer column c dot that's it now c dot that's it these two columns are com comes from customer table and now what i have to put put here it's a table column is representing from order table just simply put it as an o dot and o dot customer id that's it how pretty easy now see run the query you will get instead of all column you will get only four column what we have chosen in select statement see how beauty the query is this is the id is representing from customer id which is the customers and contact name from the customers table and order id from the order table and order id customer id from the order table and here you why i have chosen customer id here means for the comparison purpose which is coming from customer table and order table which is matching or not now see we'll see a couple of rows The yeah, Vincent is in a Vincent here. Chops is a Chops here. Willie is Willie here. Oh, it is beautification. All the rows, almost. This is in a system. 
and this is in a query what we are implementing obviously it will match everything it will match everything unless until if it is not matched row it won't get it as an output even if it is in a duplicate it won't give you an output in using in a joy where you require to get an accurate data which is uh, available in both tables most of the scenarios you used to identify by using the giants only for the purpose you'll use as a simple in a join and uh, you will have in a great idea try to practice to make in a two tables with the same column which is having in both tables and try to implement in your own way you will have in a great information and great multiple like a vast information of the data also you can customize it as you were wish to join the tables and you can get it the data from uh, as your requirement uh, satisfies the result set and one more thing i'll i would like to tell you here if you want to join in in addition to this statement as much as pretty simple as much as pretty simple how it is from here i will take you the things from here like see like in the join i am adding one more table means the join with the table i think what i have products we will see the products table you assume it now simply i'll write name of the table products as p on which product key which is available in customer table or order table you can straightly by using p dot like a product id assume that product underscore id that equal to o dot that is an order table which already is here available o dot product underscore id not say if any parameter from p you require to use you just take a comma here and make a put it as in a p dot product underscore name go over Likewise, you make inner joins with many multiple tables to fetch the data in a very easily in a common a single output report. Hope you understand about the inner join. I hope you to practice more and more. Yes, I agreed. As a beginner, you will get some errors on the first step. At the first time whenever you are going to executing this is the logic if you are understand what it's the inside the logic how it is accumulatively getting the data from database tables once if you are understand a simple basic syntax as well as the basic query you will get multiple queries with uh, complex and complex statements thank you